morning. I get to start my morning off reading and I haven't been able to do this in so long because I've had exams but they're finally over so I can use all my mental energy to read instead of study and I'm very happy about it so I'm going to try and finish reading Happy Place in the next couple days because I feel like I've been reading it for absolutely ages. We're going to enjoy just sitting in bed and reading to start off our day. We're going to have a great day and I'll introduce this video in a little bit. Welcome back to another vlog. It might not be morning when you're watching this, but for me it is at the moment. It's 8.30 a.m. and it's Thursday. I feel incredible because as I said earlier, I have finished exams as of yesterday for school. I walked out yesterday afternoon from school with like the biggest weight off my shoulder because for the last two weeks straight, I've been studying like crazy and just my brain's been so occupied with school. Today marks sort of the official first day of the holidays for me. Next week I have work experience, but I'm not actually going to school again for the next three weeks because after work experience, we have, that was my phone that went off. We have two weeks of holidays and I'm doing work experience at a place nearby me. I'm really excited to do it there. I'm super excited. It's a nutrition place. It's sort of like the career path I want to go down so it will be a really good week of information and education and just like sussing out what the job entails that I want to do. So that will be fun but as of today to like Sunday I don't have that many obligations except for creating content, editing content. This afternoon I've actually got a doctor's appointment and I just wanted to pick up the camera and vlog a bit of a winter diaries vlog. I've been wanting to film a video like this ever since we entered winter because I think winter marks a really big time where people sort of don't feel their best, they're not that energized, you might go through a bit of a seasonal depression and I can totally relate to that in the way that the weather plays the biggest impact on my mood and if it were up to me it'd be 30 degrees and sunny every single day. In this video I want to share sort of like tips and tricks on how to stay motivated in winter and how to keep a positive mindset. I feel like when you get to the middle of winter, it's really easy to think that it's going to be like this forever, but then it gets to summer and it's the complete opposite and you feel like winter never existed. So hang in there, keep watching this video so you can improve your winter. If you're not in winter, refer back to this video when you do hit winter and save it to your Watch Later program on YouTube so that you can get all the best tips or even no matter what season you're in, just watch this vlog because it's full of positive tricks tricks and tips and you could do these all year round. It doesn't just have to be winter. So these will be my next few days. If you enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. So many of you aren't subscribed and it would mean the world to me. Also, all my social medias are in the description box if you want to keep up with my everyday life every day. And without further ado, let's jump into my winter season. Let's talk about movement in winter. I feel like in winter it's so easy to like not want to get out of bed or do anything but my favorite ways to move in winter are definitely like yoga. Last night I did a yoga flow and it was so peaceful and calm especially doing it by the fire and then I did some pilates which is really nice. I love pilates and I think in winter it's like the best way to move your body in like a comfortable and mindful way. Also getting outside and going for walks even though it's cold I've been making an effort to get outside in nature and it honestly makes the biggest difference to my mental health. Bar as well, if you haven't heard of bar, it's like Pilates but you can use a chair at home or an actual ballet bar and it's kind of like ballet mixed with Pilates. I also dance twice a week. I think joining a workout class or a dance class or just some sort of team sport is so good because even in winter you kind of have to go because you're paying for it. So if you don't feel like doing much, you have that obligation each week and you always feel so amazing afterwards. day now. I've just finished doing some Pilates. It's 10, 10 a.m. I put my hair in a little ponytail with a bow. I think it actually looks pretty cute. I always struggle like when my hair is freshly washed to decide how to wear it and I didn't want to have my hair out because I have dancing tonight. I have one week left of dance classes before holidays because I've finished school earlier than dance. I'm just going to keep my makeup today really, really simple. I'm just going to put on some tinted eyebrow gel, blush and mascara. I'm not going to put on any concealer or anything to be honest because 
Uh, I least see the point. Also, can we talk about my nails at the moment? I have officially broken the habit of buying my nails. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in one of my videos recently already, but I am actually noticing the biggest difference. And I think next time I go to get my nails done for a special event, I'm just going to get shellac or nail polish on them. And I might regret saying this and I might go against what I'm about to say. But at the moment, I'm not planning on getting acrylic ever again. They literally destroyed my nails last time and they've gotten to a really healthy position. I've just been using the Sally Hansen Strengthening Nail Polish, if you're wondering, and it's been working amazing. It's a seven in one complete care treatment. I just got it from Woolies, but it's been helping my nails so much and I've never been somebody with super long nails. So I'm so grateful that they've started growing. The plan for today though, now that I've had the loveliest morning, is to get ready, have a bit of a snack, and then I need to sit and make a thumbnail for my morning and night routine video which will be up before this video goes up. I'm actually really proud of that video but I just went to go edit it and I accidentally filmed the first half in slow motion so if you haven't guessed that and you've watched the video that is called the power of editing. I have a full light up mirror right in front of me that I could be doing my makeup in front of but I choose to stand here because of the heater and then I complain when my makeup looks terrible. Anyway continuing on with my plan for the day. I'm going to edit, make my thumbnail, and then probably make some lunch after that. And then I have a doctor's appointment at 2.55pm, but it's only about 15 minutes away. And then tonight I have dancing at 7pm, which I'm pretty excited about. I have my hip hop class, so it's pretty chill vibe. I've been trying to prioritise sleep a lot this winter. I feel like it's really easy to be hard on ourselves in winter and expect ourselves to do all the same amount of things as in summer but I read this thing and it was saying how like if animals hibernate in winter it's obvious that humans are gonna struggle more too because we're still like a breed of animal if that makes sense. I don't know if this sounds a bit woo woo but anyway and so we need to like have more sleep in winter and do more like lower impact activities and I like really understood that and I was like that makes a lot of sense. I'm just in a really good season at the moment where I feel like I'm really making the progress which I've been wanting to make for ages. And it just feels so nice when you feel like you're finally taking the steps that seem scary but also that you know are going to be good for you and the discomfort that you're feeling is necessary discomfort and discomfort that you have to feel in order to get to where you want to go and that's just exactly how I feel at the moment. Tell me way too much I never know if you mean it ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't seem to get involved I'll leave without any reason ooh, 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 ooh. I don't expect your goals Won't even wait too long But I can try to speak as everything is better editing my vlog but I'm about to go off and head to my doctor's appointment. It's about 1.40 at the moment. I've just got on these Under Armour trackies, my white Nikes and my puffer jacket. As I said earlier I have dance tonight so I've kind of just worn my active wear all day but I really love this fit. I actually think it's kind of cute. It's giving like sporty but comfy and cozy at the same time. But let's go head to our doctor's appointment and then we'll continue editing our vlog and having a productive day. to go head off to dance. I've just got my same outfit on but I've thrown on a sweater over the top instead of my puffer jacket. Got my bag packed and we're gonna go have a good dance class and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Happy Friday.
Friday, starting off the vlog the same as I did yesterday. I'm just about to go move my body a bit. I'm going to do a bit of cardio and then just do some stretching. But this morning so far, I've just spent editing my morning and night routine video to make sure I can upload that. So if you haven't seen it already, go check it out. I'm actually really proud of the way it's turned out and I've had fun like sort of testing out different editing skills, which I feel like makes my YouTube channel so much more fun when I can get more creative with it because that's the part that I love. So utilizing winter to sort of do those indoor activities like editing or reading or any of those type of things I think is the best opportunity to. So if there's a hobby which you've been wanting to do for a while maybe winter could be the perfect time for you to do it. Today is the shortest day of winter I believe or the shortest day of the year. It's the winter solstice. Is that how you say? I am really no scientist at all but it just means that it gets lighter later and darker earlier so it's just a short day which I feel like I don't even notice. I'm so bad because I go to bed so early I don't actually mind when it gets dark early because it means I can get to sleep and my brain knows that it's night time but I do miss summer so much like put me on a beach right now please but that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is finding positivity in winter and embracing and romanticizing the season. I wanted to share a little tip with you guys as well that I made a Pinterest board for winter with all the aesthetic activities I can do in winter which I can't really do at other points in the year so I really recommend doing that if you really struggle with finding motivation and inspiration through the winter season. I also think hanging out with friends is a really good thing to do in winter as well because when you have people around you that inspire you and motivate you it can really uplift you. This lighting is so cozy it's giving winter autumn vibes it just changed then as I said that. I feel like part of going into winter and especially going into the holidays now that the exams are over and I have time to think is entering back into my reading era. I can't remember if I've said that already. Maybe I said that at the beginning of this video but reading is a habit which I really want to implement. On the holidays I have not had much time to read at all lately especially for exams. My task for English was to annotate a novel so the last thing I wanted to do obviously at the end of the day was pick up another book but I've nearly finished Happy Place by Emily Henry. I feel like this book was trending forever and I feel like I've been telling you guys I've been reading it forever. So I'm hoping that my task for the weekend could maybe be to finish this book but next week I'm going to choose a new book and we're going to get back into reading because I feel so much better whenever I'm reading in the morning or before bed. I notice the biggest difference in my mental health. I notice the biggest difference just in how I feel in every aspect of my life. Reading makes the biggest difference for me and it took me so long to get into reading but now that I am into reading I don't want to lose that so I just need to make sure I'm keeping up with it. Yeah I thought that was important to mention in this video because I feel like there's no better time to start reading than in winter. I ordered myself some new winter trackies because my last grey track pants which I bought which I love I wore outside and now the bottoms are all stained and I can't seem to find my size on cotton on so cotton on if you see this video which you probably will not please bring back your grey jogger track pants in a 3XS because I miss them and love them so much but I thought I need a new pair of grey trackies for this winter ASAP I'm wearing a pair today but they're my Under Armour ones so they're made for sport whether I wanted a more athleisure pair. I looked high and low to find a pair of grey trackies which were one reasonably priced and two that just looked nice but I ended up coming across the Bonds ones. I figured the Bonds track pants would be great because they're a really reliable brand. They've been around forever. I hear great things about them and for the price you would want to hope that they're good. I think these are going to be a perfect winter staple for my wardrobe. I think that's one of my biggest tips for maintaining a positive mindset in winter is maybe getting a couple new clothing items that will spice up your wardrobe and kind of excite you to go out and wear cute outfits this winter. I'm going to go meet my friend for a walk this afternoon though. The sun's come out which is making it a lot more nicer today than the past couple days because it's been so cold the past few days. I spent this morning planning my week. I made some overnight wheat bix last night and they ended up tasting amazing. If you want to know the recipe it'll be on my gluten free account very very soon. I feel 
amazing after that walk and just catching up with one of my best friends. We are just about to pop into Woolworths, my mum and I though, just to get some groceries. I've sort of planned some warmer, more wintry meals for lunch this week.